looking at storage information information about storage and wanted to know what the total worldwide information was about storage and I found this article on this website whoever they are and I don't know they talk about their source but they don't want to provide you information unless you pay for it so it says the Google revenue for storage units in 2020 amounted to around 41 billion US dollars the global sales volumes in 2020 increased by over 260 million units to 2.9 billion pieces 2.9 billion 2.9 billion pieces that's a lot of pieces of storage right so those pieces obviously include hard drives memory um, USB floppy disks optical disks whatever I don't know how they talk about um, uh, sales numbers but the statistic of consumer market outlook estimates that the sales number will continue to increase in 2021 before declining again, again starting in 2022 that's what they expect okay uh, a couple of other things so there's a graph of the whole thing but they don't show you that you could actually pay to find out that information but more things global hard disk shipments in 1976 to 2020 you can see that that graph goes up and goes down hard drives um, are going to be decreasing because people are going to solid state storage as opposed to hard drives but even then it's saying the total storage in the future is going to decrease that's their prediction okay having a looking at all that I decided to go a little bit further and then found um, something else right. a bit of memory on oh, that's not what I'm after okay here it is back here okay so I came across this Samsung 128 gigabyte micro SD card for $19. I was amazed at that price. I remember paying a thousand dollars for a one gigabyte hard drive back in the 90s. So now I get 128 times more than that for $19. Anyway, uh, I was surprised how cheap that was, so I looked around at other things and then found out also that there are multiple people selling for that price. Uh, there's you are that $19 one, $19.79 for Amazon, $18 for Kogan, that's a little bit cheaper, $19 you are again, uh, and different even scan disk one, $23 at Kogan, etc. So storage has definitely come down in price and um, you, a lot of people don't buy those micro SD cards but I do because I use a micro SD card with a micro SD uh, DUSB adapter and plug it in the advantage is I can put it in any device I can put it in a, uh, with a, the correct adapter I can put it in a camera with an ordinary adapter for about three dollars I can put it into a computer a USB port or I can put it directly into a phone so they're better that I consider that a pen drive and I can you can make them into a pen drive that's the way I use it am I going to buy one of these no I'm not the reason I'm not going to buy one is because uh, I already have a 64 gigabyte one in my phone I don't use it all the storage all right um, I fill up the storage with video and then transfer the video to uh, a server so it's useless keeping a lot of information on a phone as far as I'm concerned um, just a couple of things about the, the these storage devices though uh, the micro SD card as opposed to uh, using hard drives and things like that if I go back to its specifications here um, they give a whole other thing about the specifications and obviously one of the big things well here's the other thing manufacturers warranty 10 years you think well that's good you're gonna give me a warranty for 10 years however if you read right down at the end where they talk about the specifications on here uh, did it did it did it rated capacity interface mentions performance that's an interesting thing you need to look at these things look at the performance I'm not particularly interested in performance because the people that buy those micro SD cards quite often they put them in cameras and they want them to be able to, to uh, be able to write very quickly so this has only got a write speed of 60 megabits per second some people want it faster than that so they can put a whole 
lot of photos at the one stage. To me, it doesn't matter because I don't use it in a camera. The read speed 100 megabits per second, which sounds reasonably good. Um, the operating temperature is interesting. Durability is an interesting thing. 10,000 mating cycles. And the thing you need to understand about this, this sort of memory thing and micro SD cards as opposed to SSD drives is they keep on, if you tell it to write and read for a particular spot, it will do that. And if you put it into certain applications, it will continue to write or read from the read and write from the same spot all the time, which means it could be quick, quite easy to uh, do the 10,000 mating cycles. Anyway, this is the interesting thing about the warranty of them. The warranty of them. Limited 10-year warranty. Okay, asterisk. Warranty does not extend to dash cam, CCTV, surveillance camera, or other write-intensive uses. Warranty for SD adapters limited to one year. That's the little adapter card that comes with it. So they're only a few cents, so that doesn't really matter. So it's interesting that because of the 10,000 cycles, all right, something's writing to it many, many, many times, they're saying that's not going to give you a 10-year warranty. How do they know what sort of device it's been put into anyway? And my experience is if I went back, when I bought a micro SD card from Officeworks and I went back and told them I wanted a claim under warranty and they just looked it up, said it was 10-year warranty, they gave me a new one, all right? Even though I was probably using it in my ser uh, micro, uh, Raspberry Pi server, I was probably writing to the same place all the time. So anyway, that's another thing. Another little interesting aspect too, if I can find it. Uh, there we are. You used to be able to buy stuff really cheap off MSY, right? like micro SD cards. Right? And they were always cheaper than uh, everywhere else. Now if I can see if I can find it. No, I'm going to have to search for it. Okay. So, tools. Okay, search. Search and document micro SD. Always difficult on the MSY, MSY website. There are, there's micro SD. Their prices aren't for 32 gigabyte, which I can't zoom in anymore. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 60, sorry, 128 gigabyte. That one doesn't have one. That one that has a, that Kingston one does, 128 gigabyte. It's twenty fifty nine dollars right? This one, the, um, it's only 64, 128 gigabyte, the second last one, $23. So actually, MSY are more, more expensive than buying stuff at uh, some other places. Whereas MSY always used to have cheap prices. Okay, that's a little bit about sto uh, storage. Um, course there's lots of information you can store on a micro SD card I wouldn't use it as permanent storage oh the other thing I did want to mention too is if I go back to these you can the it doesn't actually say here but there's reviews here where someone talks about it and it doesn't sound like it's a, a review okay um, but it says I'll just see if I can find it uh, final page water yeah, it says pros. I oh, sorry, good read and write. Water, temperature, x ray, and magnetic proof. All right. Uh, I do know that someone's just written a comment about that. Micro SD cards are waterproof. So if you put it in a device and a camera or something like that, and you drop your camera into water and take it out, you can still read the micro SD card. Uh, X-ray proof, magnetic proof, it's probably better than hard drives. Hard drives, if you put a magnet over it, it wipes all the information. You run a magnet apparently over um, micro SD cards, it doesn't wipe the information. Although I'm not willing to test it. <laughs> okay, got any questions about this, email me.